Hello everyone all over the world and welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new here, welcome my dear friends. This is Planet Feet and in this video, I'm giving you a virtual tour to Florence, the capital city of Tuscany region and the most beautiful and popular destinations in Europe. Florence is one of the most fascinating Italian towns and offers visitors spectacular palaces and panoramas to see. There is no better way to visit Florence than walking through its wonderful streets and admiring every single detail. Florence charms visitor with its mix of majestic chapels and fortified palaces. Florence is renowned as one of the most cultural and historical cities in the world and is packed full of amazing architecture and places of significance. As the capital of the Tuscany region of Italy, during ancient history, Florence was once a Roman city and then developed into a thriving medieval commune. It is held as the birthplace of the Renaissance movement and throughout the 12th, 15th, and 16th century, was one of the most important cities of the world. Located in front of the main railway station, the Charts of Santa Maria Novella is a beautiful structure that has similar design to both the Domo and the Basilica of Santa Jose. Another fine example of Renaissance architecture using polychrome and white marble to create a striking front facade. The 15th century Basilica of Santa Maria Novella is one of Florence's most beautiful Gothic churches. Its facade shows spectacular examples of Italian Gothic style featuring colored marbles in a combination of green and white. Located in the center of Florence, the Piazza del Domo is one of the main squares in the city and contains some sublime architecture. This is a great place as well to visit in Florence and from here, you can see the magnificent Florence Cathedral, Giro's Campanile, and the Baptistery of San Chun. Piazza del Domo is Florence's main public square with Santa Maria del Fiore Cathedral. As a central landmark buzzing with pedestrian, it provides you with a good first sense of Florence mixed with old and new modern restaurants, cafes to enjoy, plus a range of souvenir stalls and vendors. Border the square, housed in well-preserved Renaissance-style buildings. As one of the most thriving and busy parts of the city, the Piazza del Domo is an absolute must. Judas Campanile This structure is a true masterpiece of Gothic architecture and is one of the most renowned designs in the city. Florence has a delicious food culture as well. If you want to taste the Florentine cuisine, visit this restaurant, the Trattoria Daloste. It has a warm and passionate atmosphere, an authentic Tuscan Trattoria where you can enjoy good food, excellent meat, and local impressions. You can expect Italian hospitality at its best. There are literally hundreds of small, narrow streets that crisscross the city and they are filled with some of the most impressive bars, cafes, and fashion houses one can muster. Honestly, that's the thing about the streets of Florence. There are just so many to explore and find.
Here's the famous Porcelino in Mercato Novo. This is a bronze copy of Roman marble of a Greek bronze statue of wild boar. The fountain was very popular and like many fountains, it has been surrounded by sofar station. For such a small monument, it is hard to believe but amongst locals, this is a top Florence attraction. Rubbing the boar's nose has very little to do with the tradition but it's now almost compulsory to get the boar ready for what is next. You should put a coin on the boar's mouth and let it roll off its tongue into the water below. There is a very fine grit over the water system and if the coin falls through it brings good fortune. Florence is full of famous buildings and Ponte Vecchio is an extremely famous and old bridge. Walk onto this fantastic structure and look at the various shops and vendors. You will find jewelers, art dealers, and souvenir shops. Once at the midpoint, the bridge opens up and you are rewarded with fantastic views down the river Arno. Ponte Vecchio is one of the most mystic places in the world. The proportions of the bridge are all wrapped in mystic numbers. They call it the bridge that wouldn't die. Because this bridge is the only one that withstand the powerful floods. During World War II, Hitler and his Nazi forces bombed every bridge in Florence and Italy. But one bridge in Florence survived the attacks and that one is Ponte Vecchio. The only reasons why the bridge withstand the attack is the beautiful view from it. The current bridge in Florence was built in 1345, but there are documents that mention the bridge dating back 996. What is specific about Ponte Vecchio is that the bridge is one of the few bridges in the world that still has shops on it. And it is the first bridge built on the Arno River and has been used for crossing the Arno River by tourists and citizens of Florence for years. Nowadays, it is tagged as one of the most famous places not just in Florence but in Italy. Florence has a lot of gorgeous piazzas to explore, but there are some that really stand out. The Piazza della Signora is one of those. Secondly, only to the Piazza del Tomo, the Piazza della Signora is just as important and contains a myriad of buildings and classical art. It's easily one of the best things to do in Florence if you love history and want to see a little slice of the city's past. And you will be able to see Palazzo Vecchio right from the piazza itself. This piazza is filled with statues, so keep your eyes peeled for this.
Heading over to Basilica di Santa Cruz, this stunning church is the final resting place of Michelangelo and Galileo. Soak up the culture and history in the piazza where the church is located. This is a great place to take photos and people watch while sitting and relaxing. Well, the Cathedral of Florence boasts immense size. The Basilica of Santa Cruz is truly beautiful and inviting. Constructed at a similar time to the Domo, it also features a front facade that includes pink, green, and red marble polychrome panels contrasted with polished white stone. Get a good scoop of creamy Florentine gelato while you're here. Finding the best can be quite a challenge. There are so many gelaterias serving their own special flavors. Gelateria also generally tips some of the best espressos you'll ever taste. For a perfect view of the city, visit Yazali Michelangelo. Located on a hill, you have a 360 degrees view of the Tuscan capital and the surrounding area. At the Piazzali, you will also find a copy of Michelangelo's David and other replicas of the renowned sculpture. This square offers the best view of Florence and of the cathedral in the entire city. The most famous and romantic garden of Italy, Boboli, is totally worth a visit. Hidden behind the majestic Pitti Palace, Boboli was once the private park of Medici family. Commissioned for the wife of Cosimo de Medici in 1540, it is considered the most beautiful example of Italian gardens in the world and includes a collection of outdoor sculpture, making it open-air museum. Covering an area of 45,000 square meters, the garden are some of the largest in Florence and are a true delight to walk through. Our last stop is the Palazzo Pitti. A grand square sits at the front of the palace and frames the symmetrical front facade perfectly, although once home to Italian royalty and the powerful families such as the Medicis, the palace now stands as the largest museum complex in Florence. And lastly, here in San Lorenzo Market, the Mercato Centrale is home to all things food and the outer section that lines the surrounding streets of the large Mercato Centrale building, selling leather, clothing, and many souvenirs. Florence has always been the home of culinary excellence and authenticity. Huge food court upstairs when you can enjoy your food on the spot and relax. And that's it with you guys. Thanks for tuning in. This is Splendid Fit signing off. See you on my next vlog. But first, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and share. Bye!